Right, welcome back to a brand new one. In the last one, we understood how to create an infrastructure using an agent which is hosted on Kubia. Now in this one, we're going to be talking about self-hosted agent. Now, I want a little more control over what I'm doing. I want a little more control over infrastructure which I'm spinning. So in this session, I'm going to be showing you how you could use a self-hosted agent which means you can host the agent on your infrastructure could be Minikube, could be EKS, could be a virtual machine. So I'm gonna click on self-hosted agent. Now, as soon as I'm gonna click on self-hosted agent, it's gonna ask me a bunch of options. So the information it's gonna ask is first thing, agent name. So I'm gonna give infra city Kubia, Kubia, and then say Terraform agent. All right, I've got a bunch of tunnels available which I've already created. So I'm gonna click on this runner which I've already created. I'm gonna show you in a different video how to set up the connection, how to create the tunnel. For now, I'm gonna create a runner. I'm gonna select a runner and I'm gonna add a description. Now this is super important. What this agent is all about, what this runner is all about. This agent will take care of Terraform infrastructure. Simple yet very powerful. All right, now you can select from the Docker image. If you want to build your own Docker image, you could do that as well using the base image of Kubia. Uh, powered by GBD4, you could use the Turbo Preview as well. I'm gonna keep it uh, by default four. The next one is uh, gonna be who all would have access to this agent. I want everybody to have access to this agent. All right, what prompt do you want to give to this particular agent so that it can understand and run those tasks? So it's by default, it's gonna say your main task is to create an SQS uh, using a specific Terraform module. I don't want that. I want my own private repository. If you're a DevOps or an infrastructure engineer, you would have your own repository, which you wanna create. So I wanna create, pick up this particular private repository, whatever you have, and I'm gonna give it over here. I'm gonna say create an infrastructure. It's gonna not gonna be SQS queue always. So it's gonna be infrastructure using a specific module and that module is this one, which I am gonna provide. All right, so now I'm gonna provide this. I'm gonna change over here as well. I'm asking is to clone the repository, CD into the clone repository, change bunch of variables and run Terraform and it plans. So this is super uh, important. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the integration. Now I'm doing an AWS integration because I already have the connection set up for AWS, which means this agent would be able to read the secret key and the access key for AWS so that it can talk to it. All right, I'm pretty much done. And now I'm gonna click on create. Now, as soon as you click on create, uh, it's gonna ask you to start the agent. Now, as soon as you start the agent, what's gonna happen is, Inside your Kubernetes cluster, you would have a new container, new pod running over here. If you type in kubectl get pod hyphen n open fast, you would have a new container coming up. So I'm gonna click on replies and see how it behaves. As you can see, it is trying to create a new container on local Kubernetes, which is Minikube and waiting for it to start the container. Now, if you go back to your Minikube cluster, you would see that you would have a new pod running within a few seconds, just 21 seconds, you have a new pod running. This is actually your agent. In the UI, you're getting an agent. In the backend, it's a Kubernetes pod. All right, the agent is now started. And as you can see, whatever we have given it to uh, our agent, the instruction it is, just throwing out those information that I'm here to help you with uh, Terraform infrastructure. Uh, to get started, make sure you have cloned and this is gonna perform all of this step. So if I go back to our Kubernetes cluster and watch the pod, you would say this is the pod which it is running and uh, uh, this is where all the magic's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna say create a infrastructure using the above repo. All right, so what it has got is, it has got a bunch of infrastructure. It has got a uh, S3 bucket and it has got an AWS instance. So what's gonna happen is Kubia is gonna uh, clone the repo and it has, as you can see, it has started working on it. All right, as you can see that it needs a bunch of information around AWS region, VPC ID, uh, subnet ID, cluster name and whatnot. So I'm gonna say that use arbitrary information, bear with my spelling please, and create the infrastructure. All right, so What's gonna happen is now it's gonna create all the infrastructure inside 
defined inside this file it's gonna ask whatever information if needed I've already mentioned that use arbitrary information so whatever information we have given over here so we've asked it to clone the repo first and then start creating the infrastructure on all of the magic is happening inside this particular container all right repository has been successfully cloned now it's gonna get into the repository and now it's going to start reading the terraform file and start running the terraform init plan and apply for us all right there's no variable file so obviously we haven't got any variable file but whatever it's going to be inside main.tf it's going to start creating the infrastructure right looks like the infrastructure has been applied successfully as you can see it has created the s3 bucket and the ec2 instance and you got a confirmation as well the terraform apply command has been executed successfully the infrastructure has been created as well if you go to your aws console you can start refreshing and see if you have got your buckets and everything created or not as you can see we've got the necessary bucket all right i hope this was super informative please go ahead and start creating infrastructure on your end as well using self-hosted agent i'll see you in the next one thank you